to start in three minutes, kids. Let's get ready. Okay, right. let's walk. Is Virginia here? It's not. It's a good thing she's a friend of the producer and has a rich father. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, 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 Moments have started, Miss Kent, three minutes. Miss Gosling, three minutes. Miss Carroll, three minutes. Not now. Let's go, kid. Feed up. Look out, mister. Mr. Clary, Mr. Clary. I'm down here, Ralph. Three minutes. Okay. Have you seen Cuckoo? No, she isn't here yet. Oh, here she comes. Cuckoo, darling, where have you been? Ronnie's been looking all over for you. Cuckoo, do you have it? Only half of it. How dumb can you get? Hey, hey, any more of that and you'll have me to deal with. My dear Miss Virginia Deleuze Claiborne, the man's here. He wants his money. You promised me and I promised him he'd have it. All of it before curtain time. But Daddy just won't until he sees what I do in the show. You see, I told you to give us something more important to do. You gave your solemn oath. You said a true Texan never breaks his word, remember? But Daddy changed his mind. There's nothing I can do, Ronnie. Places, everyone. Gee whiz, I've just got to get dressed. Oh, all right. Places, everyone. Here, take this. Give it to that man over there. I've got to hurry. But what should I tell him? Stall. I'm going to have the rest of it in an hour. I'll Ronnie, had the... Why me? This way, please. I have something for you. Everybody on stage. This way, please. Un millionaire avec des grands Cadillac cars, mink coats, 
des bijoux jusqu'au cou, tu sais. Mmh, c'est bon. Voilà, c'est bon. Je veux être quelqu'un avec un petit yacht, non mmh, C'est bon. C'est petit sensation. Ce soir, demain, la semaine prochaine, j'attendrai, tu sais. Je cherchais bien quelqu'un qui pourrait m'apporter beaucoup de loot. Mmh, c'est bon. C'est petit sensation. Il sera très crazy, non Voilà, c'était mon the effect of jazz music on the young people of America. Our guest witness is a musician who specializes in a branch of jazz known as bop. It promises to be an exciting session. Officer, would you bring on the witness? Mr. Daz Rocco. <laughs> Greetings, Gates. What's the story? You are Mr. Daz Rocco. Who else, man? My car. Can't stand nothing square. Yes, this is Senator Hutchison, Senator Marble, and I am the moderator for the panel, Otto Holly. Skin man, ma! Raise your right hand. Just the right hand. Do you swear the testimony about to get to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you? Where'd you get them crazy lyrics? <laughs> Mr. Rockwell, has come to our attention that you as musician and band leader exert a tremendous influence among certain large segments of American youth. They consider you a tangible manifestation of a superior temperament. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Man, I couldn't say that. But let's stop goofing. I'm here to help you investigate and catch you, dig? I know just how you feel, Jim. Mr. Rocco, this panel is interested in finding out something about the nature of your work. You are an orchestra leader, are you not? You mean to our front of combo? Yeah, man. In other words, your work is comparable to that of, say, Mr. Guy Lombardo. That did it. I won't take that even from the government. Please, Mr. Rocco, be seated. Don't touch the soup, man. You'll make the colors run. <laughs> Now, could you tell us where you and your combo are currently employed? Oh, it ain't no secret, Jim. We make it every night of Boobies Bop Hatch. Just where is this establishment located? On 52nd Street. I don't know the exact address, but it's the only building in the block that moves. Do they serve liquor on the premises? You mean groove juice? They certainly do. Man, every night by 12 o'clock, that joint is the groove juicy. In other words, if one of your teenage fans wanted to see you, he'd have to come to this nightclub where the intoxicating beverages are sold. Oh, no, they don't serve no juice to the kids. We do a special session for the Junior Jazz League. Starts at 4 o'clock every Sunday afternoon. Uh, when does it finish? Thursday. You mean you stay awake for four days? Doesn't everybody? Man, it's easy if you know the magic word. What magic word? Benzedrine. That's just plain crazy. 
It's the crazy. But who looks after your little boy? I do, man. Why? Every morning I give him a nice breakfast, a hot avocado seed soup, and a cold glass of Maltese milk. You mean malted milk, don't you? No, Maltese. It's cat's milk. It's awful hard to get, though. You gotta use a very low stool. You dig? Now, after that, I give a little Daz's music lesson. Man, that kid's gonna be a great musician. He don't know what a melody is. What's his story? Go on, Mr. Rocco. Well, come 10 o'clock, it's time to go to work. So I pick up my horn, which has got a special denicotine filter in the mouthpiece, so she can blow and smoke at the same time. And I cut out for the bar patch. Man moves me, and them cats are screaming for me. I get up on a stand, put out my hand, kick off the band. Then I pick up the horn and I blow. And the cats find up in a row, and I follow wherever I go. Go! Go! <laughs> Is enough to buy whatever catches my eye, but nothing catches my eye. My appetite has faded. Alas, the lady's jade. When I was a little girl, poor and plain, all I asked of life was in this refrain: penny candy. Candy for a penny I wish I could still get a kick From a penny peppermint stick Or an indigestible gummy hat That stuck to my teeth and made me fat Penny candy Candy for a penny I wish I could bounce a red ball on the brick of a tenement wall and never ask for more at all at all candy candy the candy store i could never pass without pressing my nose against the glass candy candy and oh how i'd sigh or laugh or laugh for a doll made of sweet chewing wax. Penny candy, candy for a penny. I asked for more than a penny now. I've grown very wise, you see. But I wish that a sweet were still fun to eat. Now a penny, a memory. Penny candy, candy for a penny. I wish I could still get a kick from a penny peppermint stick or an indigestible gummy hat that stuck to my teeth and made me fat. Candy for a penny. I wish I could bounce a red ball on the brick of a tenement wall and never ask for more at all, at all. Candy, candy. The candy store I could never pass without pressing my balls against the glass. Candy, candy, candy for a penny. I ask for more than a penny now. I've grown very wise, you see. But I wish that a sweet were still fun to eat. I do, I do. Gee, you got your old lady's perfume on? Does it? Hey, Cussie, we've got two cents left. Should we get a jawbreaker or a licorice whip? Well, if we get the licorice whips, we can each have one. How about us? And besides, the 
make your breakfast cost two cents each. Well, we could go dibs on it. I could break my jaw for a while, then your turn. Okay. Who are you hitting? Look out, you're gonna get hoy. Hey, I'm first. Naturally, it's my two cents. Hey, mister, can we please have a jaw breaker? No, not the white one. We like pink. No, not that one on top. That one way down there on the bar. Whoop! Don't spill them. Oh, nice shiny pink one. Thank you. Good, Daddy. No, it's not your turn yet. You know what I'm gonna be when I grow up? A movie star, like Nita Now. Mama told me what you're gonna be. An elephant. <laughs> Didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but maybe when you grow up, you get skinny like a snake. <laughs> don't cry, Gussie. Please don't cry. Here, it's your turn for the jawbreak. If you stop crying, you can keep it. Penny, candy, candy for a penny. I ask. For more than a penny now, I've grown very wise, you see. But I wish that a sweet were still fun to eat. Now a penny, a
What are you worried? Because my father doesn't want me to be an actress. He's done about everything to try and stop me. Now I guess he's succeeded. What do you mean? I have a terrible feeling about the money. Someone give the money so the show closes. You still won't go back to Texas. You don't know my father. Well, tell him, tell him you won't go back. And why? Because, because you tend the truth. Tu es la seule chose au monde qui compte pour moi. Sans toi, tout paraît vide. Je ne me serais pas tourné au Texas. Ça, c'est définitif. Tu es ma fiancée et je t'aime. Mr. Clary, you better get ready. And that's why. Oh, it's right fancy things about love. They complicate it so. Love, c'est la vie. La vie en rose Love justice I know Love is a simple thing Love is a silver ring Shiny as a ribbon wall Soft as a quiet snow Love is a nursery rhyme Oh, there's the tick So many things bright as an angel's wings, gentle as the morning light, long as a winter night. Love makes an old heart sing, and it fills every empty space. Love is a warming place. Love is a
simple thing. Love is a magic ring, more than a puppet show. Right, I just call it for love is the thunder and rain. Love is a soar and plane. Love is a pink balloon, sad as an old baboon, wild as a storm at sea. Love is sheer insanity. Love is a touch of spring, and it gives you a sudden grace. Love is a special place. Love is a simple thing. your sister on your father's side, so you just shut your mouth. Shut it up. Just then, the house gave a slight lurch as the termites finished with the south wing. Mm -mm. Mother, what now? 
She smiled softly as she settled slowly into the trunk for the last time. And as the lid nipped off the end of her itty bitty nose, she looked at her son significantly and she said, Ouch. But I ain't gonna read no more of my book now, cause I want y'all to buy a copy when it's published. <laughs> So you could read for yourself in the next chapter the very strange and decadent and even amusing way I picked to get rid of everybody. <laughs> then for 232 pages, there are no people. <laughs> uh, oh, before I go, I, I would like to say one thing. A lot of literary critics have been telling y'all that I'm an unhealthy author. I ain't unhealthy, folks. I'm sick. We were too rich, too beautiful for true love. That's what Mama and Papa said. I wonder if they were right. Mama is gone. Papa too, leaving two little girls with nothing to do. Time for tea, time for tea, Lavinia, come to tea. Dusty, dusty teapot, you're as old as I. Can anyone be as old as I? They can if they try, they can if they try to be as old as I. Just live too long with a memory in an empty house and we.
behind the stair, and his eyes were as cold as the sea. His eyes were as cold as the sea. That was the last I saw of John, and the last John saw of me. We were too rich, too beautiful for true love. That's what Mama and Papa said. I wonder if they were right. Time for tea, time for tea. I refuse to paint this. I can't get Alouette out of my mind. Everybody thinks that Alouette is a girl, but it's a bird. You know, when I was a little kid in France, every day I used to sing about Alouette. Alouette, very kind Alouette. Alouette, I pick you up your feather. Alouette, very kind Alouette. I pick you up your feather from your head, from your eyes, from your beak, from your neck, from your, from your this, from your body. Alouette, gentille alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Alouette, gentille alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Je te plumerai la tête, je te plumerai la tête, je te plumerai les yeux, je te plumerai les yeux et la tête, et la tête, et les yeux, et les yeux. Ah. Je te plumerai le bec, je te plumerai le bec, je te plumerai le cou, je te plumerai le cou, et la tête, et la tête, et les yeux, et les yeux, et le bec, et le bec, et le cou, et le cou. Ah, alouette, gentil alouette, alouette, je te plumerai. Ah, alouette, gentil alouette, ah, alouette, je te plumerai. Je te plumerai les ailes, je te je te plumerai le corps, je te plumerai le corps Et la tête, et, la tête, et les yeux, et, les yeux, et le bec, et le, bec et, le cou, et le cou, et les ailes, et, les ailes, et le corps, et le corps. Ah. Not a lot. Been an angel 
old year, sent to baby, and hurry down the chip tonight. Santa cutie, there's one thing I really do need, the deed. To a platinum mine, Santa cutie, and hurry down the chimney tonight. Santa baby, and fill my stocking with the duplex and checks. Sign your X on the line, Santa cutie, and hurry down the chimney tonight. Come and trim my Christmas tree with some decorations bought at Tiffany. I really do believe in you. Let's see if you believe in me. Santa honey forgot to mention one little thing, a ring. I don't mean on the phone, Santa honey, and hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry down the chimney tonight. Hurry. Tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? You are probably quite aware that the Marquis de Quiver has done it again. In society circles, his latest masquerade ball was rated second only to the crowning of Elizabeth. Well, at great expense and time, we will do this masquerade ball as a command performance with original music, lyrics, and choreography. In other words, a musical entitled Waltzing in Venice or Take Off the Mask. Waltzing in Venice with you isn't so easy to do. If you should take one more step, then you ought to, you will be doing the waltz underwater. Oh, what joy could ever compare with waltzing in Venice with care? What a thrill when the waltz is a fast one. Going each step, they will be your last one. More fatiguing than tennis, intriguing with Venice, is waltzing in Venice with you. Virginia, your father wants to see you. Uh, 
Out there. Well, Mr. Claiborne, wait until you see Virginia in the last half of the show. <laughs> That's fine, fine. That's what I'll do. <laughs> but uh, the man's uh, waiting for his money, and I thought... Well, could... tell him he'll just have to wait for it. <laughs> Ronnie's been so wonderful to me, Dad. Please give him the money now. You see, I promised him you would. Well, Virginia, I've told you right along. Before I give you all of the money, I have to see all of the show. But you don't understand. Oh, I understand very well, my dear. I'm uh, more anxious about your uh, uh, your career than you are. I appreciate how you feel, sir, but you see, I promised the man he'd have his money before showtime. And I'll thought... come back before the show's over. And don't worry about the money, son. A Texan never breaks his word. It's just a matter of good business, that's all. <laughs> right? Yes, sir. Au programme, Monsieur Claiborne. Oh, thank you very much, Sonny.
just says hello. <laughs> I just come from Africa, and I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you who are responsible for my being sent to the Congo. Your generous donations far exceeded anything my late wife or I anticipated. And the only way I know of really showing my thanks for those four swell days is to share with you some of the highlights of our trip. Just keep your seat. I'm gonna be all right. One of them cobra snakes struck me right between the eyes. You know how that feels. The doctor and him take a look at it, but I'm set on finishing this tour. So I've just been taking aspirins and doping a little. There are several approaches to the jungle. My wife and I tried them all. But we found being dropped from a plane the most satisfactory. Although our guide had trouble with his parachute and jumping and broke both his ankles. <laughs> The guides are a dime a dozen down there, and we got us another guide right away. The safari was there already waiting for us, and we jumped, and they all began yelling and throwing flowers and fruit at us. Made you feel warm all over. After an hour or so of this tomfoolery, we hit out on the trail. Our destination for that first day was the source of the Nile, the longest, and I might add, the dirtiest river in the world. Oh, but it was stinking. Our pack mules had fall down and played dead when it came time to water them. It gets dark fairly early in the jungle. We pitch camp about a quarter after four. In spite of the stench, I slept like a top. That jungle area is wonderful for sleeping, so you want to take along plenty of blankets and guns. The next morning, was one of those mornings when you hear the screech of the orangutan, the roar of the lion, and the trees were full of beautifully colored birds and snakes. Rembrandt couldn't have captured that beauty. It was one of those mornings you feel like just running around barefoot. <laughs> but we had only been tramping on the trail about four or five hours, and my wife began to complain of her feet. The only shoes she had with her were those high-heeled sling pumps. <laughs> well, she just couldn't take it, so we had to leave her there out on the trail. A couple of days later, on the way back, I found this piece of her dress, along with her purse and gloves. And to this day, I don't know what happened to her. <laughs> but what I really remember about that day was, it was the only day it didn't rain and I got to take some dandy snapshots. They're not quite as good as I'd like to have them, but I lost the negatives when I was washed over a waterfall. Now, I'm sorry. As you can see, this first picture is a little blurred. But while I was taking the picture, I got pretty badly gored by a rhinoceros. <laughs> that laid me up for a couple of days. Luckily, though, luckily, though, two women missionaries pulled me through that scrape. I guess they had gotten gored once or twice themselves, so I suppose they knew what to do. This next picture is a picture of a chief of a friendly native tribe. There aren't too many friendly tribes in Africa. In fact, this is the only one our bunch ran into. Most of them get a little out of hand when you run out of trinkets for them especially them head shrinkers. <laughs> Say, they really become sassy. <laughs> Pat on when you talk to them. <laughs> well, say, say, I can see my time's running out here. What I've tried to do is tell and show you some of the things about Africa that aren't in the travel folders. It, it isn't the nicest place in the world. No, women, I won't say that. I'll say this. I don't believe I'd recommend it for the whole family. If the children don't hunt, there really isn't too much for them. Thank you. Rainy memory 
I don't need a weatherman to tell me that it's raining memory. And it's also raining rain. Just look at my heart. It rained the day that I found you waiting for a crust on bus. It rained the night that I lost you. The gods were playing house on fire with us. It's raining memory. Memories of days when you and I were one. It's raining memory. And it's also raining like a son of a gun. Romance is just an empty fizzle. And it's grip, I'm a drip in a dreary drizzle. Raining memories on me.
You know, in the old days in Turkey, they say many women had male secretaries. Andre. No, ma'am. Andre. Mary. Darling. Sorry, I'm late. Please. Run to the little 
means so much to us. Oh, please, for his sake and mine, steal something, anything. I know you can. I know deep down inside, down where it really counts, you're rotten. Thanks, Mom. Mom, I love him and I love you too. You know that. What's wrong with me? I got crazy blood in me. I'm a misfit like Uncle Fred, the cop. <gasps> You must never mention that man's name in this house. Oh, Mom, I gotta tell you something. I know it's gonna sound strange, but you got me. Mom, I got a job, an honest job. Told you never to use that kind of... Stanley! Oh, son, you come through. A Tommy gun, my oh. boy's got a... What the heck is this? It's a violin. I love it. I want to be a great musician. You want to be a... Dad! There'll be no musicians in this house. You hear me? I'm not helping. Oh, 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 oh. Stanley, come back! Let him go. He's not my son. We'll go on together, alone. Go get my tools. I'm gonna crack a safe tonight. When I'm lost in my work, I kind of forget the pain of life. Now, don't forget what you went through, Harry. It's a Thompson safe with a 4.4 tumbler combination. Don't use too much nitro, and don't forget to eat the sandwiches. And remember, the watchmen are changed at 10.15. And, Harry, don't look... Nag, nag, nag! There's the man! Harry to you! My father! Okay, where's the reward? Here you are, son. $500. Hey! And the boy turned in his own father, his own flesh and blood for a filthy reward, and hey, our boy's a stool pigeon. <laughs> He's gonna be all right. <laughs> He's gonna be all right. <laughs> He's gonna be all right. <laughs> Everything will work out, honey, you'll see. If your father doesn't give the money and uh, if the show closes, won't you, there'll be other shows. For you, yes, but not for me. What are you saying, darling? Daddy's right. I don't belong here. I guess I'd better go back to Lonesome Wild Texas with him. At least everyone there won't laugh at me. I don't laugh at you. You are a charming, talented, beautiful girl. Where I go, you go. Because... Because... Sans toi, comme je te dis avant, Rien n'existe au monde pour moi. Tout devient triste et embêtant. Puis tu peux être ma femme. That is if you want me. Why, Robert, what are you saying? Mon cœur me dit que tu es la seule femme au monde pour moi. In English? Well, I look at you through my heart and, and I see the only girl in the world for me. Oh, Robert. I just got in from Salem, and I'd like to get the facts. Someone named Lizzie Borden has done something with an axe. And you're worried, because the hold-down usually held on Saturday night might be ruined because of Lizzie. Is that your problem? Right! What the world's gonna happen to the hold-down now? Something wrong with the hold-down? What the world's gonna happen to the hold-down now? What went wrong with the hold-down? What the world's gonna happen to the hold-down since the Elizabeth Hack did down What the world's gonna happen to the hold-down now? What happened? Set on the jury. Go get Ebenezer Bernie. Who is he? District Attorney. 
tell Mrs. Jones to leave her fudge and go into the bedroom to wake up the judge. Get Miss Lizzie to bring that axe and come on down with a couple of facts. I got a plan that'll make you smile. We'll have the hoedown with the trial. Come on, everybody, we'll have the hoedown with the trial. Yesterday in Old Fall River, Mr. Andrew Barton died. Now they got his daughter, Lizzie, on a charge of homicide. Some folks say she didn't do it. Others say, of course, she did. But we all agree Miss Lizzie B is a problem kind of kid. Cause you can't chop your papa up in Massachusetts. Not even if it's planned as a surprise. No, you can't chop your papa up in Massachusetts. You know how neighbors love to criticize. Now she got him on the sofa where he gone to take a snooze. And I hope he went to heaven cause he wasn't wearing shoes. She sort of rearranged him with a hatchet, so they say. And then she got her mama in that same old fashioned way. But you can chop your mama up in Massachusetts. Not even if you're tired of her cuisine. No, you can chop your mama up in Massachusetts. You know it's almost sure to cause a scene. Well, they really kept her hopping on that busy afternoon. What with down and upstairs chopping while she hummed a ragtime tune. They really made her hustle, and when all was said and done, she'd removed her mother's bustle when she wasn't wearing one. But you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. And then blame all the damage on the mice. No, you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. That kind of thing just isn't very nice. Now, it wasn't done for pleasure, and it wasn't done for spite. And it wasn't done because the lady wasn't very bright. She always did the slightest thing her mom and papa did. They said, Lizzie, cut it out. And that's exactly what she did. But you can't chop your papa up in Massachusetts. And then get dressed to go out for a walk. No, you can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a far cry from New York. Now, what do we do now? Let's get the hold out. What do we do about her? But me? Not you. <laughs> Say, what are you waiting for? Did you do it, Liz? Dear me, no. That good enough for you, Judge? I guess so. That good enough for you folks? Yes. Yeah. And Lizzie, you're free. Me, 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 me. Now let's hold up the bread. Yes. yes. Here comes Lizzie with a brand new hatchet. You can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. Crush your fingers, knock on wood. Local girl is making good. You can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. She's such a snob, I heard it said she met a paw and cut him dead. You can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. Jump like a fish, jump like a porpoise, all take hands and habeas corpus. You can't chop your mama up in Massachusetts. Massachusetts is a park right from New York. you call a block dance. We dress ourselves as American jitterbugs and cowboys. She says it was the 14th of July. The streets were all decorated with lanterns. She meets a boy. Et naturellement, they fall in love. Bye, petit bal, où je t'ai connu, souviens-toi. Tu n'étais pour moi ce soir-là, rien que n'a connu. Toi, bleu, au bien vert, des yeux lumineux, sans si clair. Ils m'ont mis la tête à l'envers, sur une heure de fête. Je me souviens, tout patron sympathique, Qui discutait politique avec un agent phlegmatique. Pour nous deux, un seul musicien, par le ciel, et qu'avons légit 
monotonous. Everything's going to be all right, Robert. Are you sure, darling? Daddy's going home tonight. Oh, I almost forgot. Gentlemen, the next number really needs no introduction. And so we won't make any. No? No!